In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Gauss-Jordan elimination on your calculator to find a solution to a system of equations represented by a matrix. So as you could see on the right side of my screen here, I've got a 3 by 4 matrix, and this should be an augmented matrix that has a vertical bar right in here representing an equal sign, but I couldn't get the uh, word editor to do that. Well, wait. There we go. There's our augmented matrix. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is enter this matrix into my calculator. So in the menu one screen, regular operating screen, I press the matrix button. And matrix A is what I want to work with, but it needs to be a three by four. So I just hit three and it changes the number of rows. Execute four for the number of columns and execute two times. And I can begin typing all of the matrix values. Okay, so I have typed in the complete matrix, and if you need to pause this to type it in, go right ahead, and you could press play when you get it all typed in. Now that I have this typed in and it looks correct, I'm going to exit out of here and exit again to the main screen. Now I want to use a matrix function. Here's one way that I could reduce row echelon form. I press the F3 matrix. Nope, I'm lying. I press the Option button, and then F2 for Math, F6 for More, and then F5 for RREF, and then I tell it Matrix 2 by saying Shift 2, excuse me, that's Matrix A, Alpha A. I hit Execute, and I can see my solution here. X is equal to 1, Y is equal to 2, z is equal to negative 1.